The Deco tool is a new feature of Flash CS5. I'm just going to use it with symbols. And there are many symbols available on the web. I've got some symbols here from graphicextras.com. Right, I'm just going to go to the File, Import, Open External Library. That's the way to import Flash library files. So I'm just going to select that. Then you will see all the various files there. I'm just going to select that one. Well, I've actually already opened it, so I'm just not going to actually open it at this point. But basically, that's what you have to do. You just have to click open at that point. It comes up with an error if you open it twice. So cancel. So I'm just going to select that symbol, drag it across. Now, as soon as I do that, put it to the actual document, you'll see it appears in the library. Now, you can only use symbols that are available in the library palette in Deco Tool. Deco Tools over here. Right, well actually one thing I've always found is that it's nice to resize the symbols because the symbols are vector designs, they can be any size. So I'm just going to quickly resize that, then drag that into the symbols palette, save it as a graphic, movie. Right, so now I've got done that, just move that over out of the way. And this is called Symbol 1. Select the Deco tool. And properties. So the properties via the window. Properties there. They're not actually visible. And you'll see various options, draw in effect, etc. Now you can set the leaf, and I'm just going that's what I'm just gonna do. It's got currently got no symbol. So I'm just gonna go edit symbol one, click select that. So if I select the symbol twelve, unfortunately, because it's so big, it actually when it draws the uh, vine sometimes it just doesn't draw any of the uh, heart designs so the actual smaller one works a bit better so click OK at that point and I'm just going to go over over there drag that over and then I'm just going to apply the vine so it just of course you can vary it and you can change various settings so I'm just going to stop that undo a deco sign undo get rid of those just go back to the deco tool again and you can change various settings, the pattern scale, segment length, make that maybe a bit longer, and so on, so on. So just expand them out, so you just apply things. Right, so I'm just going to quickly undo those again. So just basically, you just click the document, the movie. So there are other settings as well for anime. Right, property. Deco tool again. Now there are other options other than the vine fill, which is quite nice one, the vine fill. The grid fill. Now I've got again not no symbol. Now would be a nice feature would be just to be able to load the first one with the symbol that you've already just selected, but anyway, it doesn't do that. So you actually now have to again go and select the symbol. So edit symbol one. So now symbol there. Click there, and you will get the field. All the others are still left with the default symbols, tiles too, and all those sort of things. So I could have filled all those, then I would have got a nice grid, but you can create obviously many different designs. Undo. And again, you've got different options, brick pattern. So I'm just going to quickly show you that. Just edit symbol one, symbol one, and a brick pattern this time. Just slightly shifted it slightly to each element. Right. Just get rid of that, undo, and then there's other ones like symmetry brush and all those sort of things. Now some use symbols, some don't. Right, that's it for the quick deco tool and symbols.